Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of LC Stack. So, guys, in today's video, in today's example, we will be talking about Refresh Apex. So, first, let me explain to you what is Refresh Apex. So, guys, using Refresh Apex, you can just update wire function or wire parameters in a running function. Okay. So, guys, using the Refresh Apex, it will just basically refresh the result and re-render the component or re-render that specific wire function again. So if you if you are from a background like where you will be using the VF page and Apex, so in Visual Force page, guys, you must have seen like we were using uh, we were using the re-render function. We were using the re-render part on buttons click. Let's say if you are updating if you are updating a list and if you are having it in into a panel or maybe let's say if you are having list into an output panel. So in output panel, guys, we can refresh that output panel using the re-render on that buttons click. So on that buttons click, we can re-render that output panel. So it will just refresh the result. So the same way guys in LWC also, we can just refresh the wire function. So for example, let's say if you have created a wire function, which is getting top 10 records from account object. Okay. So, and let's say after that, if you have created or if any other user has created a record, uh, a new record in account function, and and the user has called the refresh apex function into that component so it will just refresh the result and it will display latest uh, top 10 accounts from the object which will be containing the new account which the user has created right now okay so let me give you an example of it guys so we will take an example from one of my previous uh, demo so guys earlier you must have seen the episode in which i have created this delete account component and using this component i'm just deleting deleting the account okay so as you can see in the html part i'm just having account name and i'm having a delete button here and on this on the click of this delete button i'm just deleting that specific record from the object and on the backend part guys so on the backend part we are using this wired account result function to fetch the records from the database so let's say uh, if if i have I, if it's having latest 10 records from the database or maybe if we are having a filtered record collection from the database and if i delete one record from that list of collection so it will not refresh the result until we reload the page okay but using the refresh apex guys we can just we can just uh, refresh this specific wire function we can just uh, reload it we will be basically re-render this specific wire function to display the latest result from the object itself okay so to include the refresh apex you you must uh, import it first so as you can see in this example i'm importing refresh apex here okay and we'll be using it after the success action so in this example as you can see we are just getting the list of records first in a uh, wired account result and uh, this is the record okay and this is the delete button click guys so on the click of the delete I'm just deleting that specific row. Uh, I'm deleting that specific record from the object. And after that, guys, as you can see, I'm using refresh apex. So guys, this is the way how you can use refresh apex. So you have to pass the wired function name in the refresh apex function, and it will just re-render that specific function's data. Okay. So using this refresh apex on line number 36, I'm just re-rendering this wired account result and this wired account result is getting the recent record from the object okay so that's how you can use this refresh apex uh, function wherever you would like to have recent result or maybe you just want to refresh the result or refresh the wire component or maybe its parameter also okay let me show you the output guys so this is my default org and i'm having this example let me just open the application okay and here it is so this is the component and here as you can see i'm having a delete button and on the click of this button i will be just deleting the particular record okay so let's say if i would like to delete this one couple 001 okay let me hit the delete so as you can see guys the record has been deleted and the and the list is not having that record because we have called the refresh apex and the refresh apex has wired that function once again so that's why it's getting the 
recent data from the database and what will happen what will happen if we will remove it so let me just try it by removing it once okay all right let's not uh, return this and let's return null only okay save it and let's deploy it again so we have commented refresh apex in this lightning web component and let's just check out the result okay so let's delete another account now so let's say if we delete this test account so as you can see the success message is here but still we are having the old result because we have not re-rendered this specific part so guys that's that's why i mean you should use the refresh apex wherever you wherever you are having changes related to apex and you just need to display the latest result on your screen okay let me just revert it back to its original uh, functionality okay here it is and let me just deploy this and guys this result will be updated once the page will get reloaded again okay let's say if we reload the page so you won't be able to see the test record here because we have deleted it okay so the component has been deployed and it must be working now so as you can see the list is getting refreshed again and again whenever we'll be clicking on this detail button because on the click of the detail button we are calling refresh apex and the refresh apex is re-rendering that wired function again so guys that's how you can use the refresh apex so whenever you need the recent whenever you need the latest result from the database you just have to use the refresh apex okay so that's it for today guys and also I will be having this example onto my blog which is salesforceworld.com so if you need the complete code, if you need the complete source code of this example you can just directly go there and check it out okay. So I will see you in the next one guys. Thanks for watching.